Hi everyone and welcome to the first part in my Bermuda Lost Survival gameplay. So this is actually the first gameplay on my channel. Um, so you have to bear with me guys. I have not really played this. Uh, as you can see I've got no continued game but we're going to dive straight in. I've seen other people play it and it looks like at the moment it's in very early access. But it's got a lot of potential. Uh, it's similar to kind of raft so here we go guys We're, this is what how we start uh, as I said this is your rations I have seen a couple of other people play this so I kind of know what's going on you need them by the time they run out you need to kind of be self-sufficient this is how do we get in there some stuff that you can build at the moment so you've got walls platforms you know all that good stuff and you have a workbench which as far as I know gives you more stuff to build uh, let's see what I need to do first I think my first bet is to get the axe because <clears throat> as far as I know that lets you get other kind of materials uh, stone and sticks so let's go, let's dive down and see if we can find some stone and sticks, guys. As I said, this is my first video, so bear with me on certain stuff. But if you do like games like this, I will be putting regular com content up. So I, I love unusual games. Very unusual games. So if you're one of them that's not really into the mainstream should I say let's collect these planks as well as far as I know guys the sharks don't actually do anything to you I could be wrong there but we do need sticks and we need stones uh, are these stones I think they are it's quite hard to see your little reticle thing but we get that we will get that we will get there but as I was saying guys I like um, unusual games and the more unusual the better grab that please I will grab some seaweed how many stones did I need I've got another game that I am going to start playing which is very unusual uh, it's called the Isle Isles and basically you're a dinosaur but I will start that later on I'm not sure how many hours is how many hours worth of gameplay is on this game at the moment because like I said it is early access so a lot will be changing but I'm definitely going to keep up to date with the game so when there's new updates and stuff I will continue you know if if the gameplay has to come to a halt uh shit we might die yeah I need to get up, I need to get up, I need to get up, need to get up, need to get up. Oh my days, this is going to be close. Oh my days, I didn't realise I was so close to death. Oh, that was close. That was tight, guys. That could have been an early finish. I'm quite a way back from the boat. Right, guys, I'm back on the boat. Took me a bit of a swim, but <laughs> we're still alive, which is good. So I'm just going to transfer everything into this crafting box. So at the moment the only thing we can build is the wooden railings which are useless for now. Uh, so what else did I need for that axe again? Five stone and five stick. And how much stick did I get? I feel like I did not get a lot of stick. Oh, we need one more stone, guys. One more stone. Well, let's dive down on another run. And uh, we should get that. And remember, not to die of oxygen. <laughs> Righty then. So we need one more stone. But I'm going to collect... Why I'm down there, I'm going to collect some other stuff. So supposedly there's... I mean, the Bermuda Triangle is like a mystery anyway. But supposedly there's mysteries on this game. I don't know whether they're added now or they're planning on kind of adding it in the future. Come on, stop jittering. Thank you. 
there's our stone. Let's harvest some of this. That went quick. Right, let's go up to this boat and see if we can get anything off this. I think you can, but I'm not 100% sure actually. No, not this one anyway. I don't actually know if that was a boat. I think it was an actual rock. Right, where's our thing? Let's go up here, craft the axe. But what my plan is by the end of this thing to be able to have some sort of little base set up. But we'll see how we go, guys. We will see how we go. So I need all of that, all of that. Let's craft the axe, guys. Unlock. So we can unlock that. It's equipped. Now, what I want to do is get a wooden board. So let's see what we need to get the wooden boards. Because um, then I can... 12 planks and 6... Uh, 12 sticks, sorry. Well, let's uh, put those planks away. Put everything away so I don't get overcome. How do I switch weapons? I've got my axe. There we go. Just just scroll right I want I think with the axe you can destroy these wooden crates and stuff which I would have thought give you better stuff but we'll see guys let's check it out I'm not sure if your axe breaks as well yeah we're collecting scrap metal as well which is very handy. A couple of materials in one go, which is very good. Yeah, these are definitely worth breaking. I think that axe was a good move, guys, to be honest. For a first edition. As I said, I've, I don't think the sharks do attack you at the moment, but... Knowing my luck, it will happen when I least expect it, <laughs> and they actually will attack me. Uh, I've got to be careful because I'm not sure how much I can carry. So you've got um, your hunger and stuff like that down in the bottom right, and there's a brain as well. I've heard a couple of other people mention about that brain, and the only thing I can think that could be is if you don't sleep but I'm not sure guys I am not sure right let's see if we've got enough to craft no we needed sticks as well right guys I am gonna go down collect the stuff that I need and then we'll craft a platform so I will see you in a bit guys Right guys, I am back and I managed to find a shipwreck and I hit it with my little knife and it gave me, as you can see, it gave me a load of stick, which is good. So hitting it with your knife gives you stick, hitting it with your axe gives you board, so I can actually craft one of these now. I'm not too sure how to put it down, but I'm sure it'll be alright. We'll work it out. I just don't want to waste it. Let's see how we do. Uh, get my hammer. Get my hammer out, boys. Uh, right. That. I want it as close to this boat as possible. I think that's as close as I'm going to get it. No. Yep, that would do. That would do nicely. Can I just walk straight onto that without falling in? Yeah, that's nice. Right, next thing we need. Let's see what else we need here. I think the drying rack is important. I need some more planks for that. So I will try to find that shipwreck again. What else have we got? We got a boy with this as well but I think that gives you rope so the ne oh I can actually hold up I, I can actually craft that yes I can 
right, let's get this crafted. And then I think you stick the seaweed onto this and it makes rope. Oh dear, I should have went a bit closer. How do I rotate that? Oh. I don't want it too close to the boat, so that's the thing. So I would rather it over here. Yeah, let's put that there. Right, I think I know how to rotate it. I just. That would do. That would do. That will actually do there. So let's use this. So I stick them in there. And run. Yeah, this makes rope, which is good because we need. A workbench. A workbench is very important now. And that should be the next goal. I do need some more seaweed though. I thought I had more than, more seaweed than that. Right, let's get rid of my um my hammer just in case oh yes we have, we've got loads of seaweed. Let's get that all on the rack. And then we've got the first bit of our base, it's not a lot. Oh, my days don't tell me I'm stuck. That's not good. Oh, I thought I got stuck then. I've seen a few people playing this, and you it's hard to get the plank close to your base. So you've got to kind of jump over it to it, if you know what I mean. But as I said, early access. Right, hopefully that continues on with this one now, but we'll see. So what do I need for the workbench? Let's have a quick look, guys, before we head down. Four planks, sticks we've got, and three ropes. So the only thing I'm going to need is... Actually, my uh, food, my water is going down. So I'm going to grab one of them because I don't want to get caught out and starve to death. So let's keep my hunger and thirst up as much as I can. See, that actually fills your thirst up a bit as well, which is really good. So I'm looking for planks. Got a load of seaweed on the go, but I will grab some on the way down. Hack away at that. Um, planks, planks, planks. This shipwreck here. So I've, if I hit this with the axe, hopefully it gives me planks. Also guys, if you've got any early access games that you want me to play, or just different survival games, you know, stuff, let me know. And I will definitely take a look at them. Yeah, this is nice. This is giving me a nice chunk. Just got to watch my oxygen. God, how much can I get out of this? The thing is, if I destroy it... Right, let's leave that. Let's, uh... That's plenty, anyway. For now. Uh, grab some of these stones because I have not got a lot of stones and we need to get the fuck up out of there yep let's go up guys before we uh where's the boat I think that is why the boy would be useful because <laughs> sometimes it's quite hard to see the boat actually Right, we're back guys. We are back. Do I need to sleep? I think I'm going to sleep before we do this. Let's sleep. Have a good night's sleep. Get my head down. Eight hours. <laughs> we're thriving. We're not surviving. Right. That's how you save the game as well, by the look of it. So that's useful to know. So it should be nearly daylight. 
I don't know whether to build another plank actually because it's going to be a bit um, hectic. Let's see if we can build another plank. Yes we can. The only thing is it might mean that we've got to dive back down to get this. Yeah, we're missing one stick, believe it or not. Yeah, we've got the rope, so we're missing one stick. But at least I've got the plank. Just so everything's not cluttered. Let's try and get this down. Put it this way. And I can have the workbench next to this then. That is the plan anyway, guys. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, I want to rotate that. I want to rotate it. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh, no, 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 no. So it snaps on that way, which is really strange, because... No, I, w I don't want to place it that way. I want to rotate it first. If I snap it, it... M Yes, I can. That's nice. Right, there we go. There we go. So we've got two planks. I need to go down and get some sticks. So I'm going to go and do that, guys, and I will see you in a bit. Right, guys, so I'm back. I actually collected quite a lot of stuff, but I am starting to struggle on water, especially. So I need to sort that out, because otherwise, we get, I mean, we've still got a few cans left. But the water seems to be going down, obviously, a lot faster than the food. But I did manage to collect quite a lot of stuff. So let's transfer this. Actually, no, I want to keep that, because I want to put that on the drying rack. Um, are you? And we need rope. We need rope. So let's go and collect the rope from our little okay where the fuck is ah oh, here it is transfer that over keep that running there we go now we should be able to make a workbench guys and let's see what this gives us there's oh I can make two I don't want to make two but I can what is this? Oh, no, no, no. That was lucky. I was actually looking at the wrong one. I was looking at the crafting box. Right, that was lucky. Very lucky. Let's craft this. Now, let's put this... Um... We'll put it here somewhere. Yeah, we'll put it here. Next to that. Place that there. Just there. Right, let's see what we can make with this, guys. We've got a barbecue bucket, water distillery. That is number one. We need that. We might actually be able to craft that straight away. We've got a chest, a bed, a torch, docks. That would be interesting because that might construct a raft. Nice. I like the sound of that. So the first thing we need is that water distillery. 100%. Uh, that is a number one, guys. But what I might do is... This is going to be the construction area over this side. But I'm going to extend the planks out this way. Not now, but I will be doing in the future. Let's see... If I transfer everything over... Let's see what we're actually missing. I've got six rope in there. Let's see what we're missing for this water distillery, guys. 
There's a lot of transfer in between this and that, but... Right, let's stick... What do we need here? Water distillery, where are you? 12 scrap metal. So we need 6 more scrap metal. We got plenty of planks. Let's split that. Where did they go? Oh, there they are. Right, and we need eight sticks. Let's split them. So all we need is six more scrap metal, which I can get from the containers with the axe, and then we'll be good, guys. See, my water has already gone down quite a lot. Let's stick all the stuff that we didn't need in here. Just for extras. Grab one of these before I go back down. So we're all full. And we're not going to die. Right, there we go. Two days survived. Two days. Right. Once I get that water distillery, I think it will help a lot. Then we just need to think about getting a food source. This should give me a lot of scrap metal actually. Hopefully. Nice. Let's break both of these down because I haven't really got a lot of scrap metal so we can use some spares. And is oh, there's another one. Nice. The only problem is, as I said, I'm not sure if these respawn or not. So once you've destroyed them, that could be the end of them, guys. Let's grab some of these sticks and stuff. There's another boat there, which is always handy because it's a lot quicker. Collecting the stuff. Right, I've just got to watch my oxygen. This gives you, these boats give you a lot of planks. I wouldn't mind finding some of those chests again as well because they give you more than one material. Oh shit, look at the sharks. Yeah, they definitely don't attack you. Not at the moment. Oh, my days, where's my raft? Where is my raft? Please don't say I'm too far. There you are. We're not too far away, that's good. Right, let's get over and get this water distillery down. I've just realised I need something to collect the water. I'm pretty sure I've seen people with a water bottle, so we're going to have to have a look at that afterwards. Because there's no good having a water distillery if I can't put the water into it. Righty then. Uh, let's see quickly, guys. Scrap metal. There we go. There we go. Let's craft that. We'll stick that down and then we will have a look at what we can do to collect the water. I mean, look how fast my water's going down for my food. A lot, lot faster. It seems to be speeding up, actually. I don't know if that's just me or... Let's stick that there so we've got everything lined up nicely. No, don't rotate. So there's our water distillery, guys. Obviously, we need water to put into it. So let's go and have a look at this a minute. A spear. What do I need to unlock that? Because that will be useful. A weapon for hunting fish. Right, that is... A number one after we've got this and we need 
five scrap metal, two sticks and one rope. We've got enough. We should have enough. I put a load of scrap metal in here. Two sticks, take them out and one rope, was it? Which should be on here. Why is that not running? Obviously need to, we need to collect more seaweed as well. But let's get this um let's unlock this water thing. That's equipped it. Don't know where that's gone actually. Oh right, it's down the bottom. Right, so let's try filling that up. I'm assuming you just go in the water and yeah. The noise is quite relaxing actually. <laughs> I've got to say the game looks really, really great. Really great. I know I haven't really looked around underwater too much in the video, but it does look good guys. I've just been trying to set up my stuff so I've got the basics for the first video. God, how much can this hold? Well, let's just fill it up as much as I can. Yep, it's still going. Uh, I think that's just going to keep going. Right, that's got to be enough. That has to be enough, guys. Right, let's... Um see what we've got to do here. Have I got wood? Because, or some... Right. I'm pretty sure I've seen somebody do this and you've got to put the wood or something to burn it as well. Right, I can... Nice, right, so we've got water. We've just got to keep on top of that. Now I need the spear. So let's check again what we needed for the spear. Two minutes, guys. Let's get off the bottle. Right, what did we need for the spear? Because that is important. As soon as I've got the spear, I've got a food source and a water source. Stone. Five stone. Ooh, rope's going to be an issue. Sticks, stone, and rope. I need one more rope. We need to go on a run. We need to go down on a run. Because I don't think... Unless I've got it in here. Which I might have. Oh yes, I've got, I've got enough rope. So the only thing I need is stone, as far as I'm aware. Let's just um, have a quick look again. Stone. Yeah, I need three stone. Three stone, guys. Let's take a dive. Let's take a dive down and see what we can find. As far as I'm finding at the moment, the stone is kind of the hardest thing to collect. Because you've... Unless there's another way which I haven't found, you've got to pick it up off the ground. So it takes kind of more time to pick up, if you know what I mean. But I'm sure eventually we can uh, get some sort of tool which will help us out with that. We need some um, some weed as well. So I'll grab some weed on the way back up. Big shark, big shark. When they update it and the sharks can attack you, it's going to be very, very scary. <laughs> Because there is a lot of sharks around. So I don't know. I mean. It's almost going to be a bit chaotic. So I don't know what they're going to do about that. They're probably working on that. To see what the best bet is. Because as I said. There is a lot of sharks. And diving down there. With like five sharks around which all are trying to attack you is going to be chaotic. Right, we should have enough stuff to craft this now. 
Yes, we can. Yes, we can, guys. The only issue is I need... Right, that's equipped as well. So we've got the spear. Let's stick everything back in my inventory. Because we don't need... Actually, I need the seaweed. Let's stick... Need that... Uh, where was the barbecue back at? Because I need that to cook any foods that I get. Let's see how this water's going. I know I've got loads of rations. But I'm going to... Can I actually drink that yet? Let's have a quick look, guys. Is that clean water? Yes, it is. Let's take some of that. I know I've got rations, but... You know, there's no point in going through my rations... For water. At the moment, now I've got this, I might as well use this. And try to save my rations. See, I'm... Come on, use. There we go. How much does that put me up by? Not too much, actually. So I'm halfway now. Take one. No, that does not do a lot. To be honest, I'm really surprised by that. Right, let's see what we need for this barbecue bucket. Five scrap metal and... Eight sticks. Five scrap metal, eight sticks. Keep that running, because we're going to need more rope eventually, so... Did I have anything like that in there? Five scrap metal. Nice, we've just got enough, guys. Just got enough to build up. Very nice. use this. Uh, five scrap metal. Sticks. And we've got a little barbecue bucket as well now. Nothing like a good barbecue bucket, boys. Right. Uh, I will stick that near the water thing. And then what I'll do is I'll start extending this way for a bit of um, room. So if I stick... Yeah, I'll stick it there. I think I'm going to stick it there. I'm not too sure. But yeah, let's stick it here. And we call this the end because that's everything... ...that I kind of need. Stick it over in this corner. Right, there we go. So we've got a kind of little base starting to come now. We've got a water distillery, we've got a workbench, we've got some sort of cooking, and I've got the spear. Let's take a look at the spear quickly. So we're, we're doing alright, guys. I mean, we've still got quite a lot of rations left as well. And as I said, I'll try to save the rations for just emergencies. Let's just make sure there's something in there. What is that? Oh, charcoal. Very good. Right, there's two more dirty water left. Let's stop that. Let's stop that for now. Because we can save the wood. Righty then, guys. That is going to be episode one over and done with. I hope you enjoyed it. It looks like it's going to be an amazing game, I've got to say. As I said, we might catch up and have to wait for a bit for updates, but I'm sure they'll be working on it fast, because it's had a lot of positive feedback. So, anyway guys, as I said, if you do like these sort of games, remember to subscribe to my channel, because I will be playing some unique games, more like this and a bit more unique. And I hope you liked this, guys. If you did, like I say, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, and I will see you with part two very shortly, guys. Thanks for watching.